Hey guys, how's it going? It's Brandon here, BB's iPod Touch Up, and today I'll be showing you guys how to get keyboard themes on your 3.1 or 3.0 or 3.0.1 um, firmwares. So let me just prove that I am on 3.0. Um, right there, version 3.0. Okay, so you see that I'm on that. Now let's get right into this. First, you're gonna be, have obviously have to be Joe Broker. So open up Cydia. And you're going to get something from the first, the home page that first pops up. Just wait for City to load. Could take some time. Um, hurry up. Alright, so from right here, you're going to go to um, more package sources, or you're going to just search, which I'm going to do, the search I access. I access just like that. Oops, I spelled it wrong. Yeah, I spelled it wrong. All right, that's how you spell it. I access. Um, I already have the source. So once you have that, you're going to. Wow. <laughs> okay. Um, so you're gonna download I access OS three. So once you have that, just install. I'm still downloading packages up top so all right there we go so it's 6.1 megabytes so it could take some time so just confirm and I will come back once this finishes all right and after it finishes you'll be prompted with a screen to reload your springboard so just hit that and then it will obviously just reboot your phone or iPod whatever you're using and it shouldn't take too long probably about 30 seconds All right, here we go. And now you'll have a new icon that you'll see right there called I Access. So once you have I Access, just click on it. Oops, click I Access. It will open up just like this. And it's like Chinese writing down there. And then you see all this Chinese right or Japanese, whatever you want to say. Hit OK. Then it'll kick you right out. Just take you back to your home page. So that's a good thing. That's what it was supposed to do. Now what you're gonna what you're gonna want to do is click your or hold your home or power button, sorry, and just turn your iPhone or iPod touch off. Completely off. You're just gonna reboot this. So give it some time to completely shut down. Don't just do it like right once that spinning circle goes away. Um, because that sometimes won't let it shut down all the way. So let it shut down all the way as so. Alright, so I'm just going to give it about 10 seconds. Alright, then after you have that, just hit the power button again and turn it back on. Alright, it should be turning on anytime soon. All right, there we go. Oops, I don't want to sync, so I'm just gonna go go now. Go back to that and click on it, and you'll get something different this time. Give it some time to load, and then you'll see whatever, whatever for hit OK, and now you're in. So what you're gonna what you're going to do is flip all these switches to off except for the very first one. So let's just go ahead and do that. Off, 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 and that's it. So they're all off. You can see they're all like Japanese writing except for you can read 3.1 right there. I don't know what that is. But anyways, right there you see that they are all off except for the very first one. Okay. So now hit exit up in the top right. And now go onto your computer um, let me just go ahead and make sure your SSH is on. Make sure open it, you have open SSH. And now you're going to go to your computer, which if you're on a Mac, you'll probably use Cyberduck. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm using. But if you're on a PC, you probably use something else. But hold on, let me get this camera adjusted real quick. And once you're in Cyberduck, hold on, let me show you. Once you're right here, well, actually, you're gonna have to download the theme first. So I'll have a link in the description to a theme called First Storm. Right there, right there, First Storm. 
uh, once you get the RAR file, then you're going to um, you're going to unzip it or unarchive it somehow um, using any kind of program. So after you have that, you're going to obviously go to Cyberduck in my case. You're going to hit that right here, this up arrow. Hit that one time, and then go right down um, to stash, which you can't see. So you see stash right there. Click on that, double click, and then you're in here, and you will see something called themes right there. What you're going to do now is drag the first storm into the into the themes. So I'm going to do that real quick. There's first storm. Drag into themes right there. Okay. Now once it's in themes, it will do something like that up there. Unknown host key. Uh, just hit allow and it will do that and then it will say upload complete so after you're done with that just X out and you don't need this anymore so just go back down to your iPod touch or iPhone whatever you may have and now oops hold on alright so now you're going to go to your Hold on, go to Winterboard. Oops, sorry, you can't see this. And there you have First Storm. Click on that, and then go back. It will obviously uh, respring right here. And after this resprings, you will see. All right, there we go. Now slide to unlock, and there's your keyboard. Look at that. But it's not always like that. So once you're, you see, I have a regular keyboard right here. Um, how you get to the modded keyboard is you hit the little um, globe right there. Hit that, and then you'll. If you have emoji, that'll pop up. That's fine. Um, then you just click it again. Okay. Then you get this. Then you're gonna click the space, and then this right here. You see that little AA? Click that. And there you go. You magically have that. And it'll stick like that until you change it up. So you see it has like the blue keys and everything. It's really cool actually. You can go back to ABC just like that. So that's how you get the modded keyboard on iPhone or iPod Touch version 3.0 or 3.1. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe. Check out my website and follow me on Twitter of course. So thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.